Hi, today we are going to learn the lesson on partnership fundamentals or partnership basics. This is the first lesson in uh, class 12th accountancy. Now let's first look at the definition of partnership. A partnership is an agreement between two or more persons and they agree to share the profits and losses in a fixed ratio. So when more than two persons are there it is a partnership now what are the important documents in a partnership first we have the partnership deed so partnership deed is a written document which mainly consists of the following here I have the main thing which I have over here is the agreement on the profit sharing ratio right so the partners agree on a particular ratio and the profits or losses whatever it may, it may be it is shared in that particular ratio then comes the salaries of the partners as to how much salary is to be given to each partner commissions of partners interest on capital and drawings and the rate of interest on loan so these are the main things in a partnership deed and this is a very important document for a partnership firm next we come to this in some of the cases there is no partnership deed or if at all there is a partnership deed the partnership deed is at times silent about some of the aspects now if there is no partnership deed or if there is a partnership deed but it doesn't talk about the ratio or the salary to be given to the partners or any other thing then what should be done now here the very first thing is the profits and losses they have to be shared equally by the partners if nothing is given in the partnership deed so this we have to keep in mind so if nothing is given then profits to be shared equally no salary is to be given to the partners here there will be no interest on capital or drawings and interest on loan will be provided at a fixed rate of 6% per annum so even if the firm incurs a loss you have to follow this 6% per annum that interest on loan has to be given so these four points have to be kept in mind if there is no partnership deed next we come to the profit and loss appropriation account the very important account in this uh, particular lesson it is basically the adjusted profit that is we calculate the adjusted profit in the profit and loss appropriation account whatever things we saw here that is this the salaries to the partners interest on capital interest on drawings and this adjustment here all these adjustments have to be provided for and then the adjusted profit or loss is calculated so we take the net profit from the profit and loss account on that we make the following adjustments and arrive at the adjusted profit or loss and this profit or lo loss is distributed among the partners in their profit sharing ratio is that clear ok now let's look at the format of the profit and loss appropriation account on the debit side you have the net loss that is if the profit and loss account has a net loss that will be transferred to the debit side if it is a net profit it will be transferred to the credit side here right two salary or commission to the partners will come on the debit side two interest on capital will come on the debit side these two items here right and if there is a general reserve that will be distributed to the partners again in their profit sharing ratio this is again on the debit side interest on drawings always remember this should come on the credit side here this interest on drawings right ok then you will find out the balancing figure if the balancing figure is coming on the credit side this is your credit side here 
if this balancing figure is coming on the credit side it is a loss this is your debit side if it comes the balancing figure comes on the debit side it is a profit so this profit or loss here here i have written this profit and the loss is here right okay so the profit or loss whatever the case may be will be transferred to the partners in their profit sharing ratio understood so these items you need to be clear about and in what uh, place it has to be entered right now let's take one small example uh, for this i'll read out the question p q and r are partners sharing profits in the ratio of 5 is to 3 is to 2 their capitals are p rupees 50000 q rupees 40000 and r rupees 30000 the salary to each partner is at the rate of 6000 per annum the interest on capital is given at 5% per annum drawings of the partners have been given as p 9000 q 8000 and r 6000 and here no interest on drawings are charged fine the net profit before allowing the adjustment is 51000 the balances of the current account have been given as 5000 for p 4000 for q and for r it is 3000 which is a debit balance right we have to prepare the profit and loss appropriation account capital account current account of the partners right now look at this this is a profit and loss appropriation account the net profit as per the question was 51000 which has already been transferred to the credit side by net profit 51000 now we have to write the other uh, entries here the salary to the partners was given as rupees 6000 so here i'll put it two salary for p it is 6000 for q it is 6000 and for r again it is 6000 so 6000 for all the three partners the total amount comes to 18000 interest on capital 5% interest on capital is provided and here you can see that the capitals are 50000 for p 40000 for q and Thirty thousand for R, the second line, right? Fifty thousand for P, forty thousand for Q, and R is thirty thousand. So if I calculate five percent on fifty thousand, it comes to two thousand five hundred. Forty thousand into five percent is two thousand, and. 5% into 30000 is 1500 so the total of this 2500 plus 2000 plus 1500 is 6000 rupees okay there's no interest on drawings so nothing will come on the credit side over here there's no general reserve so again nothing there so now i'll calculate the total of both the sides the total of both the sides is 51000 now what is the balancing figure here Fifty-one thousand minus eighteen thousand minus six thousand. So that is fifty-one thousand minus twenty-four thousand comes to twenty-seven thousand. Now this twenty-seven thousand has to be distributed among P Q R in the ratio of five is to three is to two. That is their profit sharing ratio. The very first line. it says p q r are partners sharing profits in the ratio of 5 is to 3 is to 2 right so 27000 will be distributed in the ratio of 5 is to 3 is to 2 so that comes to 27000 into 5 divided by 10 that is 13500 for p and 27000 Into three divided by ten, that will be eight thousand one hundred for Q, and twenty-seven thousand into two divided by ten, that will be five thousand four hundred for R. So this is their uh, 
profit distribution understood so that completes our uh, profit and loss appropriation account so here we have done the adjustments and distributed the profits now next comes the capital accounts here the capital accounts are fixed and nothing will be done in the capital accounts no additional capital is introduced by the partners so no entries here the initial balance by balance brought down 50000 40000 30000 and at the end of the year it is two balance carried down the same amount will come now comes the current accounts wherein you will make the adjustments now if you look at the current account balances that is given in the question it says 5000 for p 4000 for q and r is 3000 that is a debit balance right so here i'll put it for p it is 5000 for q it is 4000 uh, they both have credit balances r has a debit balance so 3000 will come here by salary account 6000 for all of them so 6000 6000 and 6000 here right by interest on capital that we calculated 2500 2000 and 1500 the drawings was again given in the question it was 9000 8000 and 6000 so drawings will come here as 9000 8000 and 6000 right by profit and loss account it was 13500 8100 and for r it was 5400 clear so that finishes our current account now you just have to tally your current accounts for p let's do it 5000 plus 6000 plus 2500 plus 13500 that comes to 27000 here right for q it will be 4000 plus 6000 plus 2000 plus 8100 that comes to 20100 and for r it will be 6000 plus 1500 plus 5400 that comes to 12900 okay okay now let's write the uh, amounts here also 27000 now 27000 minus 9 is 16000 that will be the balancing figure for p 20100 20100 minus 8000 will be equal to 12100 and here this is 12,900 and the balancing figure will be 12,900 minus 3,000 minus 6,000. So, that is equal to 3,900. So, now we have prepared the current accounts also and these are the balances for P, Q and R. So, this is what you are supposed to do in this question we have prepared the profit and loss appropriation account here distributed the profits we have prepared the capital accounts no changes there and then the current accounts so these kind of questions comes in the profit and loss appropriation account the basics of partnership so i hope you have understood these so with this i'll end this um, topic bye